Swan Pantau Company is a publishing company currently publishing mathematics and business studies. Text and online study material for schools. The company is considering entering new market in these subject areas. <clears throat> Initially, it will produce materials for mathematics degree course, but then it plans to produce material for other university courses and professional qualification. So, currently, the publishing mathematics and business study text. Now the company is entering into the new market mathematics for degree courses, universities and professional qualifications. Previously it was for school. Don't put out directors feel that the decision to invest being made in phases and the possibility of not pursuing the investment further if sale of the mathematics material are disappointed are significant. However, they are unsure how to incorporate these factors into the investment appraisal. Sona Patau directors are also uncertain about whether its closest competitors have any plans to enter this new market or how its competitor will reach if react if three companies successful its new market. <laughs> now, examiner has given you the information. Tona Patao board has set a four year time horizon for consideration of the investment based on its current plans for producing the new material. Planned capital expenditure on this investment will be as follows in year 0, 1, 2. In addition, the working capital required at the start of the each year will be this one. Working capital expected to be fully released at the end of the year 4. Forecast profit, pre-tax profits for the investments stated below. They are stated after the reduction of, now this is after the reduction of tax law reduction which is equal to the accounting depreciation. Tax law deduction examiner has given to you the pre-tax profits. The tax is payable 20% in year in which the profits are made. B company, a company which produces mathematics and business studies material for university and professional exam courses. B company's debt equity ratio is 25-75 and its equity beta is 1.60. So now put out debt and equity ratio examiner has given to you and this is 4060 why examiner has given you this proxy company guys because you are going into a new business for the new business your risk will change to so incorporate that risk into your capital structure the examiner has given you a proxy company which is already doing the same business in which you are going to expand. So you will use that proxy company data and you will calculate your revised VAC because the existing VAC which must be there that will be used for the school books. But as now you are going for the universities and, and uh, say that professional qualification so that existing VAC will not use. The current risk free rate is 4.2% and the market risk premium can be assumed to be 5.5%. For the purpose of estimating the cost of capital, it can be assumed that the debt beta is 0. Sona put out that consists of 6% bond, which has a nominal value of 100 and a premium of 4% on redemption in 4 years' time. The coupon on the bond is payable on annual basis. The spot yield curve for the bond is as follows. So, guys, those students who are my previous students, they already know. We covered the two questions on this topic. One was the toll tax company and one was the Leventy company. So, examiner has given you the every year spot yield curve. So, you have to use that spot yield curve. 
now <laughs> the requirement of the question Examiner is asking evaluate the financial acceptability of the proposed investment. For me, just we have to perform the NPV analysis. In the B part, examiner is asking discuss with reference to our Tona put out company proposed investment. How real options built on traditional net present value analysis when evaluating the investment scene? Important point. The problems with incorporating and valuing real options, your answer should make specific reference to the Black Shows model. The examiner has already told you people that what you have to do. It was a good question, but not as complex with the students who are thinking that this is a very complex question. We are solving the question of the Tona Patao. And in the first part, we have to calculate the NPV of the project in which we are going to invest. The project is having the lifespan of how much? Four years? The examiner has already given you the pre-tax profits. What are the pre-tax profits? Have anybody opened the question, guys? The pre-tax profits are 8,700, 11,600, 15,200 and 15,500. This has been given to you. 8,700, 11,600, 15,200 and 15,500. This has been given to you in the question. As this is the pre-tax profit, apply the tax. The tax is 20%. So, 1740, 2320, 3040, and 3100. These figures will be 6. Now, one thing. You know that examiner has mentioned here they are stated after the deduction of the tax allowable depreciation which is equal to the accounting depreciation examiner has given you the tax allowable depreciation guys so examiner told you which is equal to the accounting depreciation guys can you tell me what we will do with this tax allowable depreciation which the examiner has given to you? Anyone? We need to add it back. Why? What is the reason for that? Because it's, it's non cash item, it has already been deducted. We will add back. So this has been given to you. How much? 1,600, 5,200, 6,700, 6,700. Now, uh, the working capital. <laughs> the working capital at the start, how much it is required? 
requirement is 3000 but you know that in every year only the increase is being there how much is the increase guys 450 450 then 550 then it is being positive by 200 so Four fifty increased, then by five fifty it is being increased, and in the third year it is being reduced by two hundred. Huh? As this is investment, when the investment is increasing shows negative, when the investment is decreased shows positive, and it is assumed that the working capital will be recovered in the last year. So guys, what is the net figure coming? Oh, this is your working capital. Now, what are the investments? In year zero, what is the investment? 20,000. Then in year one, you have the investment of 20,000. And then you have the investment of 12,000. So, compute the cash flow. Twenty-three thousand. One zero and double to nine double zero. Now the problem is how we will apply the discount figure. Now guys, see as this investment is for university and professional qualifications so for this the examiner has given you a proxy company you will use this proxy company data now the proxy company equity beta has been given to you what is that beta equity? 1.6. 1. 1. 1.60. Ungear it. Apply the equation. Beta asset is equal to beta equity into value of equity divided by value of equity plus value of debt into 1 minus t. The beta equity has been given to you as 1.60 and examiner has also given you the value of equity and the debt. The 75% is the equity. Then the 75 plus 25 and the taxation rate is 20%? Oh, yeah. So your beta asset is coming. 1.263. Now, first of all, remember, what is the difference between this beta equity and the beta asset? One has debt and equity. Beta asset and beta equity. Beta asset is when the company is made up only with the share. And beta equity is when the company is made up with shares plus that. Now, when we ungeared, it's mean 
we remove that from capital structure. Now this beta asset is saying that the company is <coughs> only made up with the shares. And one more thing, the beta asset only represents the business risk. The beta equity represents the business risk as well as the financial risk. Now, as this is the beta equity, the debt is zero here. Now you will re-gear it. Why we will re-gear it? Because in the cap M, we do not put this beta asset. We put the beta equity. Now this is the beta asset. But remember, re-gear it with your own gearing level. The company for which you are doing the calculation. In this question, we are having for the Tona Patau company. So what are the Tona Patau company, the value of equity and the debt? 60, 40. Okay. So this is the X multiplied by 60 over 60 plus 40 into 1 minus 0 0.20. So your Beta equity will come as 1.937. Put this into the cap amp. The rest of it has been given to you in the question as 4.25. The beta will yes. compute it 1.937. And examiner has given you the equity risk premium 5.5%. So your cost of equity is coming as 14.9. But in the VAP, there must be a cost of debt as well. Now we have to perform the calculation for the cost of debt. Guys, in this question, you see what is going to happen. <laughs> as the bond is having a market value of how much the bond is having a market value of 104 there is a premium as it is a redemption so this is a redeemable bond this is a redeemable bond And if you have to go through the cost of debt of the redeemable bond, so this can be find out with the help of the IRR. Now, what is the problem here? If you have to apply this IRR method, so you must be having the years, the bond lifespan is how much? Oh, yes. Four years. So there must be year zero, then in year one to four, and then the four. In year zero, we place the market value. In year one to four, we will place interest into one minus T. And in the last year, we will place the redemption value. Now, <laughs> what is the problem here? The market value has not been given until unless you do not have the market value, you cannot put into the IRR formula. Now, what was the point here then?
Okay, now how we will compute the market value? You know that if you have to calculate the market value of redeemable bond, so you will take year one, two, three, and then the year three. This was the normal phenomena. But in this question, as examiner has applied the spot yield curve concept, you have year one, year two, in year three, and then year three. What is the coupon rate? What is the coupon rate? Six. So every year, you will be having the six, six, six. And in last year, examiner told you that this will be redeemed at which amount? A premium. A premium. So this will be 110. Now, what was the spot yield curve for the past year? 4.3. So it will be 1.0433 raised to power minus 1 for the second year. 5.15. This was? Oh, I cut it too. This has been given. 5.15, 5.93, and 6.58. So, for the third year, 1.0593 raised to power minus 3 for the last. The phone was having the 4 years life, guys. This is the mistake which I was having. 4 years. In the fourth year, the interest as well as the principal both are in incorporated. So this will be 1.0658 raised to power minus 4. So guys, the present values 5, 5.43, 5.05, and 85.05. Add up all these values. This will be the market value of the bond, 101.4. Please recheck the calculations. Hurry up. Is that calculations correct? Yes. Okay, now. <laughs> In this question, can you tell me, guys, if you have to compute this Redeemable bond KD. I said to you people, this will be computed with the help of the IRR. Jacqueline, tell me what you will state in year zero. The market value. The market value which we have computed. 101.4. 1 
for it then for <coughs> how much interest would be there interest is the coupon rate six this is the six you will place six or you will after six Six is a coupon rate. As six is the coupon rate, so you are computing the cost of that. You will have to take or not. No, I thought that one is white TM. Yes, when you get Maybe the YTM, that's when you it. minus tax to get cost of debt. So you can do that as well, but why you are not doing here? See, interest into 1 minus T. What was the interest? 6%? Mm -hmm. Multiply by 1 minus 0 0.20. So how much is the figure? Four point eight, and the redemption value will be upon which value? One hundred ten. Yes. Now see, I made a mistake by myself, and nobody is telling. This is not one to four years. This is for one to three. Because the four year I have included here. In the four year, there are the two calculations. One is for the 4.8, which is the interest. And examiner told you in this question that the redemption will be on the 4% premium. So guys, what will be that premium amount? Hundred into 1.04. What is the value coming? What is this value? One zero four. Add up both of these values. One zero, one zero eight four, point eight. How much? One zero eight point eight. So <laughs> clarify me, guys, how we are <laughs> taking this as one ten. Hurry up. Right, because uh, at year have... four, yeah, at year four, we'll pay the coupon plus the um the different value, which is hundred. See, so this must be one ten. If this coupon I had taken here the six, yeah, I am taking now four point eight because interest is always computed for the company and the company is upon the interest pay tax so now it is not 110 guys it will be how much 104 plus 4.8 how much was Nazish? 108.8 now choose a rate by yourself like for example 5 percent which one 5 5 Okay, at five percent, this will be one. Compute the annuity factor at five percent. See in the table, and for the last year discount is. Hurry up. Where are we getting the four point eight? Which one? The four point eight next to four. This is the no, 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 up, up there. Yes, is it the same thing? Yeah, there. Where you are? In the year four, we have the two commitments. One, we have to pay the interest and other, the principal amount we have to give back. So what is the 4.8? This is the interest, is it... brother. Okay, okay. And this is the principal amount. 
Okay. Okay. Now, tell me what will the anti factor in Adesh? That 5% for 3 years. Two point seven two three. Two point seven two three, and what will be the discount figure? Two point seven two three. Two point seven two three. So tell me the values. 101.48 multiply 13.07 hai how much 13.07 are you sure? Yeah, that's 4.8 into 2.723. Okay, then this one's 108.8 multiplied by 0 0.822. It's 9.43. 89.43. Yeah. What is the NPV coming? One point zero two. As this is coming as positive, so the second rate must be higher one. Let's take the ten percent. This is again one and ten percent. What is the energy factor? Hurry up, guys. I have a question. Are these discount rates correct? Do these factors? I I doubt a bit. Which one? Who is asking? Tell me, guys, who is asking? I don't know, but because I have not computed, you people have told me the calculations. So you can reach it. Because if, because if we look at 5% and annuity factor for three years, because it's one to three, yeah. Uh, I think it's a different one. So 5% annuity factor for three years, it should be 2.723. So this is 2.723. So and the other one, if we take 5% and then for the fourth year, it's 823. So this is... So where is the wrong? What's the wrong? Is this three? It's 822. Oh, Rounding of mistake, it is brother, that is not a mistake called a mistake. That is just the rounding off. Don't worry. But sir, this is 0 0.822. Okay. 5% for 4th year, 823. You are saying this is 0. 0.823. Yes, yeah. correct. I have taken 0. 0.822. This, uh, nothing matters. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now. Tell me, what is this, Nadesh, at 10%, what is the energy factor? 2.487. And what is the discount factor? 0 0.683. 0 0.683. So again now, it will be 101.48 multiply 4.8 multiply by 2.487. Hurry up. 11.94. 11.94 and this one. Seventy four point three one. So now tell me what is the NPV coming? I 
I got 75 points, one thing. Yeah. What? Okay, okay, hold on. I know. What is the NPV? I'm getting negative 15.23. Yeah, 15.23. Now apply the IRR formula. <coughs> Low rate. That is 5%. Plus NPV at lower rate. 1.02 divided by 1.02 plus 15.23 multiply by higher minus lower rate. So tell me guys, what is this coming? Six point two two. Six point two two. Two three. Six point two two five. Okay, you can take a six point two three. Okay. So this is your cost of that. Now apply the VAC formula. Your cost of degree is 14.90. Value of equity. How much? How much was the equity? 60. 6. Hmm. Divided by 1. Cost 60 plus 40 is equal to 100 or you can say. Plus Cost of that we have computed 6.23. This is 40 over 100. So what is the vacuum? Eleven point four three. Eleven point four three. So we can take almost 11%. So this 11% we will use here. And at this 11%, country. I am stating the present value. This will be 23,000. 1567 1, 3, 9, 3, 3, 1, 5, 0, 9, 1. So guys, what is the next NPV coming? Tell, hurry up. It is 2,221. Positive or negative? It is negative. Negative 2,000? Yes. 221. So based upon this calculation which you have performed, the project should be rejected. Now, the second part of the question, quite informative, in which examiner was asking from you people, to apply the real option criteria, including the black shot. Now see, what is going to happen, it was very good, use of real option. First of all, guys, have a clear understanding. <laughs> when you apply the NPV analysis, in the NPV analysis, 
you only have the two choices whether you have to accept the project or whether you have to reject the project beside these two options you do not have a third option means you have to do now or never basis but in the case of the real options the real options are giving you the choice and the flexibility what is that choice in the real options you have the three types of the options one is known as option to expand one is known as option to follow on more opportunities and the third one is known as option to abandon this option to expand or go for follow on opportunities these two options are the type of the call option please keep mute your mics and this option to abandon this is a type of put off now what will happen for example we will discuss the real options are giving you a choice when you have invested your funds in a project and that project is not financially sound to you you will sell that project to someone else this is the choice available option to abandon but it is only available if you have applied the real options criteria the further explanation which i can give like in this question what was happening this company was already doing the mathematics books for the schools and based upon his experience the company wants to go for the further projects but this further investment in university degrees and professional qualification depend upon its success in its existing school business if school business is successful then the company will invest in funds in the university and uh, professional qualification mathematics otherwise it will not do so it is known as the go for the follow on more opportunities otherwise what is happening the if we are not following the real options criteria so what will happen we will uh, invest our funds whatever the results are coming but in the real options the things depend and upon your previous circumstances as well now let's go through real options provide an additional perspective on npv calculations in situations of uncertainty ordinary net present calculations involve deciding immediately and irrecoverably whether to undertake an investment real option theory can help a decision does not have to be made now or never basis the theory useful when deciding or oh sorry when decision can be made and then changed or where there may be additional opportunities which can be exploited once an initial decision has been made to undertake an investment i have explained here real option model calculate the added value of the flexibility which a company has where it has a choice and time to decide this is important choice and time this flexibility is incorporated at the time value of the option which is additional to the intrinsic value of the investment the value of a real option will increase when the uncertainty relating to the underlying asset increases given that the option has unlimited upside but a limited downside now in this paragraph first of all what do you mean by the intrinsic value 
guys whenever you have the option whether this is a call option or put option whether this is a call or whether this is a put option every option has the two parts intrinsic value plus time value of money intrinsic value plus time value of money in the case of the call option the intrinsic value is market value minus exercise price in the case of the put option this intrinsic value is exercise price minus market value now what the examiner is trying to say examiner is saying like in the previous scenario which we have gone for the npv is coming as negative and we have left the project but if for example we incorporate the real option in this scenario so maybe the things will change and it will giving us a positive overall npv so what will happen the flexibility is incorporated as the time value of the option I mean this is the time value which is additional to the intrinsic value this intrinsic value is there now if you are not having the real options you are having only a single investment so you will exercise the project if it is giving you the positive value otherwise you will reject but if you are incorporating this flexibility you are incorporating the time value means you are not putting your funds now you are waiting so then what will happen it will be additional to the intrinsic value so then you will be having the more benefits now we have to apply this on this company such as tona patao company real options are relevant to tona patao company as it has potential to expand its current investment or abandon it means the company has two choices whether it can go for that production or not it can decide after year zero to produce more products than planned giving it chance to increase increase its intrinsic value of the overall investment the option to expand is a call option i told you the initial investment is the premium required to expand and the exercise price is the value of the additional investment over and above what is planned now in easy words if i explain you people we are discussing the real option and in the real option if a option is a call option or if a option is a put option in the call option what is the price of the pa what will be the pe pa pa is for example i am not going to start this project now i am going to start this project after 2 years so the pa will be the present value of cash flows generated after 2 years this will be the pa and pe now as i have waited for the 2 years so before starting the project the expense which i will incur before these 2 years this is my pe the expense required and in the case of the put option when i am abandoning the project now 
the P A and the P E. The P A is the present value of cash flows foregone and the PE will be the sales proceed. This the examiner has explained. Like for example, we are saying we are having a project of zero, one, two, three, four. What is going to happen? I will start my project or I will wait for one year. And I am starting my project in year two and this project will last for further two years. So at year two, I am going to incur, for example, dollar 1000 that will be my pa and the project will give me further two years the cash inflows for example five thousand dollar and the eight thousand dollar these are the project inflows for these inflows you will calculate the present value this will be taken as PA, the PE is the expense required from the startup of the cash flow. Now, in this case, for example, again, let's have an example. I am saying that I am going to sell this project by the end of year one. So, guys, when I am selling this project by the end of year one, this year two and year three cash flows, I am not enjoying. I am not enjoying these cash flows. I have foregone because I have sold this project to someone else. This will be the present value of cash flows foregone and the sales proceed. The party to which I have sold this project, for example, that party has paid me the $10,000. This will be my PE. Now clear everyone? Now, see what the examiner is saying. Because the investment is phased over two years. Because in the question, see what is happening. This was the, we are doing the investment for two years. So, T company may also have the opportunity to withdraw the project. If initial sales are disappointing, the option to withdraw will be exercised if the salvage value exceeds the value of the net cash flows foregone. The put option would effectively be a put option. The option value will be influenced by whether there is a value in the intellectual property created if it can be sold on to another publisher for example. So this is a small means the example which the examiner has gathered but I have already told you that what will happen, the option to withdraw will be exercised when thus liquidation value on abundant exceeds the value of the cash flow foregone. Means the price at which you are selling the project that will be increasing the value of the cash flows foregone. Then you will be selling the project. Now guys, As we have to solve this question with the analysis and evaluation, skepticism and the commercial acumen as well. So the calculations which you have performed that will gain you the marks for analysis 
and evaluation. But in the evaluation, you must tell the examiner that there are some problems that may be there when we are using the real options as well. And one more thing, guys, which I will emphasize, like whenever you people are computing these present values, in your spreadsheets, do not compute these discount factors. You have to learn by yourself the spreadsheet functions, like You have to see in the spreadsheet you have to go through this NPV formula, IRR formula, MIRR formula. These formulas you have to apply the spreadsheet functionality if you have to gain marks on analysis. Do not write down the discount factor for every year. The examiner will not cut it, but examiner will lose your marks for the skills. Now, what will happen as we have to discuss the skepticism skill as well. Real option analysis is based upon uncertainties about the future cash. It requires that managers can respond effectively to these uncertainties. In practice, they may not have the flexibility to do so once they have decided on a particular course of action for example, commissioning of the writing of the study material. I mean, in reality, this is not possible that when you have started a project, then you are saying you will abandon it or you will delay. Now, as examiners ask you people specifically that you have to apply the black shawl model, real option can be valued using the PSOP, but this has a number of assumptions which may not be true in reality. You are applying the skepticism skill. You are challenging the assumption. This model assumes that there is a sufficient data available for the volatility of returns for the underlying asset to be estimated accurately, mean the PA, and that the underlying asset has a market value. What is this model assuming? That there is sufficient data available for the volatility of the returns of the PA. The model also assumes a constant risk free rate, constant volatility, and a perfect market, perfect market in which investors or can borrow uh, at uh, same rate. The project's cash flows are assumed to follow a log normal distribution. The black model was designed for this is very important. This BSOP model was designed for valuing financial options rather than the physical investment such as training material. Like in this question, we are having the training material which we want to value on the basis of the real option using the black shawl. But this model was designed for valuing financial options. The call option, the board option. The B shop also assumed that the real option is a European style option which can only be exercised on the date of the expiry. However, Tona Patao may make the decision to expand or contract its product range at any time over the next few years, meaning that the option is more like an American style option, which can be exercised before expiry. This model thus underestimates the true value of the option for the Tona Patao company. Very important discussion, guys. In the next class, which is we having tomorrow, we will discuss 